It is so important that you educate our elected officials about the work that you do. The appraisal management companies, just for one second, over to Mike. The major issue is that we need better oversight. We're getting things like appraisals being ordered by an appraiser in Fremont to do one in Clayton. And if you don't know Clayton and you don't know the rules in Clayton, you don't know the schools in Clayton, the appraisal can't possibly come out the way it ought to come out. You need to know the areas. You need to know the neighborhoods. You need to know the schools. They're just not getting Since I live close to Clayton, we've got to Yeah, you do that. Yeah. Well, particularly the, I get it, I mean, not having somebody understand the neighborhood. I mean, the idea of not having too close a relationship but having a exactly. relationship with right. the area that they're trying so to So do we have a bill in process to clean that up? To, to create better oversight. Right. There, right. there is no bill at the moment. But right. Would you like one? Yes. Yeah, okay, let's talk about it. The consumer's paying more for appraisals. The actual appraisers are earning less. We should fix it as soon as possible. I can help work on the appraisal. Yeah, no, definitely. We'll get something together we, for you on that. If we can do it this year, if not, we can get started for next year. And if you want, you know, I don't have to be the author, just like I say. No, we'd like all real estate is local. Uh, that's Tip O'Neill said about politics. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the uh, SB 1178, which is the deficiency. Are you? Do you understand that? How, do you understand the refinancing and how that worked too? I mean, I think 90% of the people that refinance loans didn't know they were putting themselves on the hook for it. Changed over from having that deed protecting you for the loan to being personally liable. We want to thank you for thank you. not just supporting the anti-deficiency bill, but uh, it's been helpful for me to understand more about your business and the pressure in the area. And then the importance of getting you when we start coming out of this housing market. I had a stockbroker tell me about other seven dollars. We went through the tech boom, the housing boom, and now we're living on the government boom. And we can't, you know, we're just barely in federal government can't keep this. So the sooner we can help you guys start to sell more houses, the better off.